So I recorded all that and I forgot to mention what I did prior to. Uh, redid all my floats for my carburetors, adjusted them. So if you can see this little like indentation or whatnot here, that is what your fuel should measure to according to the manual. It says two millimeters from the top of the float bowl, which is the top of the float bowl is about here. So two millimeters down would be that plus or minus one millimeter so I did all my floats so that the fuel is around here for each of them one and two are exactly at this level three and four are slightly above so I'm probably gonna fine-tune that a little bit more bring them all to this just because my OCD um, and then as I'm testing it and I'm looking at it I'm adjusting the fuel screw here, rotating it clockwise to lean it up, counterclockwise to richen it, so counter, counterclockwise adding more fuel, clockwise taking fuel away. Uh, so while I was doing that, I was watching the flame, just adjusting it, and it'll um, adjust. The other thing I did is I actually replaced my air filter because I do a lot of work around my house and this one, the camera doesn't pick it up very well, but this used to be nice and white. Um, it's gray because I do a lot of cement work around my house. And I also like to, uh, to use a smoker, which clogs up filters. So I replaced that, balanced all of my carbs, and then just went ham on that and uh, it is idling so much better now. I also, like I said before, you'll, you'll hear it in the future, I mean, because I'm recording this part after. I recorded everything else. It's really strange, mess with my head. But, uh, adjusted the idle screw in the center, counterclockwise, to back off the idle. And uh, it still idles just fine after adjusting everything. So give it a shot. Highly recommend this uh, color tune, 100%. All right, so finally freaking came. It was supposed to be here yesterday. Uh, and then it was like, oh, Amazon was telling me it was uh, running late. So I decided to order a second one. And uh, sure enough, the day I ordered the second one, today, it finally showed up. That's just my luck. So now I'm gonna have two of these. Anyways, I bought the 12 millimeter. Um, I was confused when I did buy it. So I wanted to put this on here. It uh, uh, on Amazon it shows as if like you're gonna get a 14 millimeter and all this other stuff like it says down here uh, It includes a 14 millimeter plug. It is not a 14 millimeter plug. It is a 12 millimeter plug Which is what we need for our radians So that is a 12 you have your little sight tube your cleaning tool your uh, stem for the to conduct the electricity and your little tool they give you to screw it on. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna leave the tank on for now. I'm gonna do number four for the first time. Just warmed it up. Haven't even tried testing this out yet, but uh, I'm gonna put it on and then start recording and see what we get. All right, so here it is. Uh, I wanted to point out when I watched a bunch of videos about this, people showed to finger tighten the spark plug inside of it, which is what the directions say to do, tighten this on, and then everyone complained, like, oh, your your uh, coil doesn't actually sit on it, it just, or click to it, it just rests and flails around, but um, I never seen any one of them take the tip off of the spark plug, such as this, this is on your spark plug, or it should be, and screw it onto here. Because if you do that, it will clip like it's supposed to. Kind of hard to do one-handed, but it'll do it. Maybe not one-handed. A little difficult to do one-handed, but it's on there. Like it should be. So let's start this bad boy up and see what we see. Just, just strange. I shouldn't be running lean right now. 
more of a yellow color in person. In the video it's kind of white. watching my video and I said I was gonna go to number three um, and I guess I just got so excited that my bike is finally coming back to life that uh, I forgot <laughs> but, um, I went through one two three and four with the color tune it worked great I don't know what all those reviews and the fuss is about a um, little tip of getting in there you don't know those fires it's gonna be your your saving grace to not burning yourself grab it pull it off and then use your ratchet get in there get it all all that nice stuff um, then you don't burn yourself unless you if you don't have girly hands like I do then go ahead and reach in there and do what you got to do um, I moisturize every day so um, yeah it works great number four is still a little on the richer side I'm gonna leave it because it is idling nearly perfect um, when I run into more issues, I'll probably take this off. I did check for vacuum leaks. I don't have any vacuum leaks, so it's more than likely my float. It might be set too high, allowing too much fuel in. I'm not 100% on that, so don't quote me. Um, but I would come back to that later. Number one actually darkened up a little bit after I adjusted these other two. So all of these guys are a nice pretty blue, except for number four. It's slightly blue, but still has some yellow. So it's almost there, just not 100%. All of these for the air mixtures, or the fuel mixture screws, I actually had to sit all the way down. Uh, I, if I backed them off, it starts to turn yellow again, and it was too rich. So I sat them all the way down very gently, so I hopefully did not break them. I'll know in a 
couple of months when I have to take this off again. Uh, but we shall see. It's running great now. Just to prove my point, I'm gonna start her up. Nice idle. Much better.